2017, Guerrilla Games created a game that most will be familiar with called Horizon Zero Dawn. A game that many would be happy choosing as their very own game of the year. Horizon Zero Dawn brought us a massive open world with superlative visuals with matching gameplay and combat mechanics. With a Metacritic score of 89, many would argue that this score doesn't do the game justice. So with that said and done, do you really need to watch a review of the DLC or expansion to see if it's any good? Well, of course it is. It's a winning formula right here. The Frozen Wilds is an expansion of the Horizon Zero Dawn map from the original release. Upon purchasing the Frozen Wilds, this will add a significantly large portion to the northeast section of the existing map, and the weather up there is particularly cold, so you're going to want to rug up for this one. The Frozen Wild starts off with our favourite burning bush, sunlight phobic hero Aloy. And Aloy gets word of a new threat that is firing up the machines and causing havoc among the lands. It is for this reason she braves the freezing temperatures and heads north. This is where Aloy encounters the Banuk tribe, a people that are simple in their ways, but brave in their spirit. In order to gain passage through to the Cut, an area covered in snow and ice, Aloy must prove herself worthy against the Banuk tribe leader. Then we better get on with this. So be it! I will bury your insolent claim in the frozen ground! Enough! Along the way through the main quests in the Frozen Wilds, you're going to encounter new allies, new weapons, upgrades, and of course, new machines to deal with too. They're right behind us! The main story experience is going to net you around the 5 to 8 hours of gameplay here, depending on the difficulty setting that you opt for. While this is a decent amount of time for an expansion storyline, there is still plenty more things for you to discover in the new portion of the map that is added. At the start of this review, I did make a comment about how we should just assume that the Frozen Wilds is going to be good. And yeah, well, it is bloody good, but if you want to look at the makeup of the gameplay, the only thing that I noticed is that it's all very familiar. The new machines are super amazingly epic, however beyond that, the bulk of the action just felt like they added another cauldron from the main game to get through, and coupled it with a story about sibling rivalry and more about how a petite young woman can absolutely destroy everything and everyone in her path. A lot of the gameplay here is reminiscent of the main game. The Frozen Wilds will run you through some trials, much like you will do in the main game, and you'll also pit yourself against an ego-driven leader who you will inevitably beat, and you then go through a cauldron to complete some fairly straightforward climbing and platforming puzzles before all of your trophies pop, telling you that you're awesome. The hunt begins on my mark. Gotta head up that mountain. With all that said though, the Frozen Wilds is still a good addition to the full game, adding in a lot more content, amazing weather effects with snow that looks so damn amazing!
I would say that if you want more of that Horizon Zero Dawnish goodness, then this expansion is something you might want to pick up, also considering the reasonable price point. If you've had your fill with the main game and you're looking for a little more variety in the gameplay, well unfortunately besides a new weapon, a new upgrade tree to unlock and more machines, it's pretty much made up of the same stuff from the original game. Thank you very much to everyone for checking out this review of The Frozen Wilds. If you thought it was useful and informative, click the like button. If not, then click it three times. You'll get the same result that helps us out, but you can get more of your frustrations out. Don't forget also to hit that subscribe button. That really helps us out also, and we would very much appreciate it. Thanks again. I love you all for getting this far into the video. And until next time, I am Lucas, and I will see ya!